New at six, dozens of murals on an old building in northeast Kansas City ruined by graffiti. 41 Action News anchor Cynthia Newsom is live with the powerful message the artists now have for the vandals. Cynthia. Yeah, it is a powerful message. First, I want to give you a closer look at some of these murals. You know, a lot of hours went into planning and painting dozens of murals here on Scalert Elementary School building. And these are not just paintings. They're actually the story of this community and the people who live here. So when graffiti artists got a can of spray paint and ruined some of the uh, murals, well, the artists and designers reacted, but in an unexpected way. Every inch of every mural tells the story of the old Skerritt Elementary School and this diverse community in Northeast Kansas City. American. And Hector Casanova knows every single panel and every story like the back of his own hand. His students at the Kansas City Art Institute painted the murals. And it's a whole uh, you know, city block. There's hundreds of these wood panels that my students have worked, to get, uh, worked on. Uh, all put together, there's you know close to 150 students that have worked in this. Each panel tells the story of diversity in this community: African Americans, Hispanics, Vietnamese, and Somalis, all coming together, forming a united community. Hector is disappointed. Vandals tagged the murals, but he's not angry. He's reaching out to the vandals. And if anything, I would want those people that are tagging the 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 building to reach out and become part of the project to make their mark in a positive way to actually impact the community in a way that the community would welcome. Hodo is one of the eighth grade students with Kansas City Public Schools who worked on a series of panels now hanging on the building and she's proud of her work. She doesn't want vandals to touch it anymore. I feel like I don't do anything or drawing or mix it up. Yeah, that's a pretty good message. She's a smart and talented young girl. Now, I have to tell you, the Kansas City Art Institute said that uh, their project will not end here with the murals at Scarrett Elementary School. This fall, they're actually going to start a mural project at Whittier Elementary School, also in northeast Kansas City, and also designed to stop vandals, graffiti artists, from targeting that school. Cynthia Newsom, 41 Action News.